just a bloke in a bar. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of the DMP. And you may see us attired in some of the greatest tracksuits of all time. Mm. And that's because we have actually stepped out of the uh, camp that we're in, heading into the World Podcast Champions next Thursday. But first of all, boys, there's something big happening today. Something yeah. fucking big. Mm. There yeah. is something big happening, Dan, and um, I'm glad you brought it up. Tom, pour us up, please, bruh. Um, we, listen, we have been in uh, camp for the World Podcast Championships next week. That's why we're wearing our fineries. Not for sale. A lot of people going, where can I get one? I tell you how you get one, bruh. Represent your nation at the World Podcast Championships. That's when you'll fucking get one. Yep. Until you do that, until you're selected to represent your nation on the biggest stage against the world's best, going toe-to-toe with the best in the fucking business, until you do that, you can't have one, okay? Earn it. you got to earn it. you got to earn it, mate. Yeah. You, can't, you can't just throw a... You know, a 60, 70 bucks at a trucky like this and think you're just going to have yeah. it in your wardrobe. Correct. National colours are earned. Punters and dribblers, yeah. they're earned, not given I or purchased. That's right. I tell you what, you don't have to earn. You can just pay for <laughs> Big Day Rose. Big Day Rose. That's a great transition. I love that one. 6 p.m. Hellosport.shop. Make intelligent, switched on, smart, intelligent. Switched on. Switched, switched on. on. Smart. Smart, intelligent. Smart, intelligent. <laughs> Decisions. decisions. Einstein sort of shit. Yeah. Einstein uh, would have drunk big day. Newton, yeah. Einstein, Galileo, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Know, he's, <laughs> he's a commie. Well, he's not, but he got slain. Uh, uh, what? Uh, hey? uh, Was he a commie? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm just muddying the waters. But I mean, fuck, that's good, dude. That, it looks good. It looks. How good. good does that look? It looks fucking great. And it's it's rosé season. What, what do that's you make hot. of that color? Mate, you know what? It's gotten pinker, but not gotten pinker. You know yeah, what I mean? It's gotten, it's gotten less pink. Less, it's gotten lighter pinker, but it's so it's pinker, but mm. less pink. Yeah, because I think if you if you went darker than that, you'd start to get redder. So yes. it's actually got pinker. No, we've 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 lightened the pink. You've lightened the pink by making it more pink, but it's less pink. So is it is it a, a, a tad smoother? Is it a tad crisper? It's what? not a tad. It's a lot smoother. Okay. It's a lot crisper. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot light pinker. It's a lot better. You know what I want to say? Be a good bloke. And my, look, I understand a, a thousands and thousands of women listen to this podcast, but let's just assume there's a lot of guys that do too. Mm. Buy, a, buy it for your missus, but you're buying it for yourself. Yeah. Buy it for yourself, buy it for your missus. Buy it for your mum, your dad. Buy it for your mum. But it's like for yourself. But yeah. it's for yourself. Yeah. You it's know what like, I mean? yeah, it's, 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 a, it's an absolute layup. It's like, whoo. Ella, I reckon we need a PS5 for the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. You definitely need a PS5. There's yeah. like heaps of like fitness games and shit on there. <laughs> Sake. Yeah. It's like the Trojan horses of gifts. Yep, yep. Because they don't know what's happening, yeah. but they're enjoying it. Yeah. They're and celebrating like, it. Oh, and yeah, let's have a picnic. Let's go for a picnic. Got some rosé. Or let's go oh. do a date thing where it's BYO. Got some big day yeah. rosé. Like, it's smart decisions. And then you know what happens? And this is guy or girl. Like, you can be purchasing for each other, but you get in the mood, guaranteed roots. Guaranteed. I like that. Guaranteed like that should be roots. your slogan. Big Day, Big Day Rose, 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 guaranteed roots. <laughs> Cheers. No bullshit. I, re- I reckon that would pass the uh, the board, uh, the governmental. Yep. Yeah, that'd be cool with that. The controls? <laughs> the governmental controls would be Well, listen, that? listen, listen, listen. How can you stop it if it's true? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm. They're just trying to stop you alluding for stuff that might be or might not be correct. True. Whereas this is actually, this you is, drink this and you're guaranteed roots. It's like the opposite of false. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually a truth, an absolute truth. Absolute truth. Guaranteed yeah. roots. <laughs> GTR. 6 p.m. tonight. Guaranteed roots, 6 p.m. tonight, houseport.shop. And you could have a guaranteed route by what day? What, like, are they going to arrive? Are they coming out immediately? Uh, long out? weekend. So I if you order them tonight, weekend. they'll tonight. be with you next week. So if you Four. want to guarantee a long weekend yeah. route. Yeah. Long weekend chong, a long chong. <laughs> You've got Saturday AFL Grand Final, Sunday NRL Grand Final, Monday a day off, chong, public yeah. holiday, and... Daylight savings is back. Which I, yeah, so you can chong in the sunlight yeah, at eight o'clock for at longer. Night. Exactly. So if you're a daylight shagger, lights which, on sort of stuff. Well, but daylight. Well, you what's, know what I mean? yeah, what's the biggest light of them all, Eddie? The sun. And you exactly. know what? It'll still be on. Yeah, it'll still be up. So you can have a long chong if you if you can do that. But you can only have a long. Well, if it's legal for you to chong, chong. then it's legal for you. To no, chong. but if you have a long chong in you, a lot of people don't have a long chong in. Well, them. multiple chongs. This will give you a long chong. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed to make you root long and chong. strong and strong. <laughs> That's long big and strong rose, on the though. chong. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, How's the shop? 6 p.m. tonight. 6 p.m. And you know what is even better if you order that and then next Thursday, 
We are extremely excited to announce DMP is releasing their 2023 shirt at 6 p.m. Yeah, That's back. right. Now, <clears throat> have we made some some pretty big assumptions about have the, we, the can, result next well, week? Have we counted our chickens? Yeah. Fucking oath we've counted Do our I chickens, look like huh? a chicken counter, bruh? Because I am. Yeah, bok, bok, motherfucker. I'm counting chickens. We counted a fuckload of chickens as well. Yeah, we counted. We counted, we counted plenty of We chickens. counted the most chickens we've ever counted. Yeah. If you know what I'm trying to say. But I'm confident going into next week. We're preparing well. Prepare to fail or fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Yeah, yeah but we are preparing well. We are preparing well. This is well. a large part of it. First couple of days in camp are going pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. A couple, couple, little, couple little hiccups. Hiccups here and there, yeah, but, you but, know. And maybe the news has got onto that. You might see some of the news from the hiccups well, over the next few days. The yeah. news is already onto it. We tried to go into camp secretly and then fucking Dribbler's Day picked it up. <laughs> fucking Dribbler's Day. Dribbler's Day. Dribbler's Day. Day. Dribbler's they're they're and they're sniffing about. Yeah, mate. mate. Dribbler's Day, they do not stop. No. I'll tell you what. Well, they're like fucking hound dogs. Mate. Yeah, they are. Now, listen, they're the most reputable publication currently going around. But <laughs> And did we call them to tell them we were going to be there? Yeah, we did. We might have, we might have tipped listen, off the fucking listen, paps. Listen, it's, nah, it's not our style. <laughs> <laughs> not our style. <laughs> no. Nah. We tipped the paps. <laughs> Guru happened to get wind of it. Yeah. Guru happened to be at a rugby league ground. What's the chances of that? Yeah, Very exactly. high. What do you reckon he was doing down there? Yeah. Just soaking it up. <laughs> Uh, and like there was, it wasn't even a game on. Guru was nah, just out that's, of ground. That's just what he does. He yeah. just gets down to fucking local <laughs> suburban rugby league grounds and rubs his body on the grass, touches himself, yeah. or the off chance that some young throbber is down there practicing, he gets to watch. Yeah. He gets to watch. Yeah. Oh, could you be the next big thing? There was a, a, a kid down there, not a throbber though. It was a, a kid Ooh. with a soccer ball, and it was yeah. four hundred degree heat, yeah. and he was just kicking it to himself, and like. I did, like soccer ball is not really something you kick to yourself because he just boot it like five k's away and then walk after it. Picture this: forty degrees. His email was fuck. Really. Picture this: forty degrees, seventeen by himself. Soccer ball, weird technique. I think also weird technique. I think older than seventeen. I'd put him in his twenties, but it was reckon? it was fucking emo, dude. He was all in black. I had like, headphones on too. Listen yeah. to crazy Big songs. Big old headphones. He was in a fucking weird technique. Very strange. Very not Evermore or some shit. What's Evermore. That Evanescence, maybe. Evanescence. Oh, Evanescence. Bring me to life. Is that yeah, the name yeah, song? Bring me home. Yeah. Wake me up inside. Bring me home. Stay me. Is that it? Yeah, that, could, that's could, exactly it. He couldn't kick a ball underneath yeah. the fucking goalpost, like from yeah. 20 metres. No, he was, spraying, he was you know, shit Probably ass. because he had bloody tears in his eyes. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He kicked well, the ball 60 metres. his eyes are watering for all the eye makeup. <laughs> fucking emo. We got... Anyway, fucking very... <laughs> top drop. Very good result. Yeah. So 6 uh, six p.m. tonight and then 6 p.m. next Thursday. There is a limited amount. We've already ordered the amount. May have early crowed, as we just suggested. So once this is gone, no more. Done. We early crowed ourselves. We all are confident, confident of the result confident. next week. Yeah. It's kind of like a bit like Penrith playing at a core stadium, assuming they're going to be in the grand final. Yeah. That's what we kind of did. Getting, yeah, well, exactly. yeah, well, you know, so I'd actually take it a step further. It's like us just going, yeah, you will win the comp <laughs> and ordering championship shirts. Well, it's like when the team shirts. makes the final and they all, they have to pre order their fucking. Correct. And then the other half gets other, burnt. Well, no, they get sent I hope to. We don't like, have to burn. No, they get sent to impoverished nations. <laughs> so you'll see like. The and this, they'll see like, you know, DMP shirts on a third world, like a refugee An somewhere. Ad. One of those ads, it's yeah. got a DMP shirt yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, like a World Vision ad. <laughs> oh, yeah. What could have well, been? Well, it won't be over there, though. Yeah, listen. listen. I'm confident. Confident. Yeah, but I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm confident. Um, I'm confident. So set your alarms, guys, because you don't want to miss out. These come once a year. And I mean, right, think about this. Long weekend, AFL Grand Final, NRL Grand Final, Chong that is long. Mm. You've got... A DMP shirt on and you're sipping on the finest. Yeah. Does it get better? No, it doesn't. I'd also say this. I would also say this. Although these are great, you haven't earned them. No. But the shirts are better. The shirts are better. Yeah, the shirts are way better. You actually, you're going, bullshit, bro. Yeah, you're yeah. not. Yeah, I agree. Bougie, bro. I agree. You haven't seen them, mate. Yeah. You haven't seen them. Because these so, are pretty fucking hectic. I'm these are great. Yeah. What right. sort of sick fucking twisted individuals <coughs> would we have to be to sell trackies coming into summer? Yeah. Like you got to be a real dumb. But also, dumb. we're not selling these because you got to earn them. Got to earn them. You got to represent your nation at the World Podcast Championship. Like, what are we? What are we talking about? Have you? Have you? Sprinted down the alleyways of the content cartel. Yeah. No, naked no. at one a.m. in the morning, just trying to get content. No, you haven't. So you, you haven't, haven't dude. It. We're at the WPC. You haven't earned shit. <laughs> now, speaking of earning shit. Uh, Tiger's uh, chairman has been voted to remain as chairman. Yes! Uh, he's earned it. He's earned it. Huge Lit news. Litigiously. I litigiously. don't think anyone wants to fucking get on his bad side. No, so, listen. Yeah, dude, you got it. If you want, if you don't want. Don't sue me, bro. 
If you want uh, civil cases out the wazoo. <laughs> Allegedly. You go against Lee. Allegedly. Allegedly. Go against litigious Lee, best in the business. Best in the biz. Uh, I also believe, and again, alleged, Lee, deep pocket sort of guy. Deep pocket sort of guy. He's a big mover and shaker. Bryden's lawyer sort of guy. Mm. I let me pump money into the club sort of guy, but I want the chairmanship sort of guy. Which He's a championship kind of guy. I think that's I, play, that. I think that's play oh, on. Oh, that's play on. That's play on to me. If you Allegedly. have you heard have you heard of this? Allegedly. He who pays says. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You know? smelt it, dealt it. Fucking oath. I'm on. I'm. I'm team litigious league. Yeah, same. I want that on the public record. Yeah, same. Public record. Don't sue us. Team. Team litigious. Litigious league. league. Big fan. Huge fan. Lee puts the Lee in allegedly. He does. Fuck it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Good. He's also fucking he well. Does. He's also well dressed. Some, some people say he looks like Inspector Gadget. I disagree. <laughs> I, disagree. I think he looks agree. very smart. Yeah, I agree. So I, I think he looks definitely. very, very no, smart. I think he looks fucking great. I tell you what's in right now. Hats, dude. <laughs> and Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget hats in. <laughs> like they are in, in. In, in, They are in. They can, well, they're coming back. Maybe well, he's bringing Lee's them bringing them Lee's back. Bringing them back. They've been out, but they're, they're on the they've way They've been out for in. a while. Because things come in and out. You know that, boys. Trenchies, top hats. Dude, you play a trench into a toppy. Go, go, Gadget Lee. I also like he's a, dom he's a democracy guy. He got voted in. I like that. Yeah, yeah. He's not a. He's not a. Um, he's not a dictator. Uh, no. He's he got voted in. He's not authoritarian. No, he's Which a democracy guy. Did he three more years? That. I think he did. Three more years? I respect got, that. Fucking oath. So that's great news. Uh, uh, so what's, uh, is Michael it? Checker has been linked to their general manager of football and uh, reportedly, allegedly, uh, Lee um, basically came out and said he was frustrated that it got in the media. Um, well, I think you'd be used to it by now, wouldn't you, Lee? Yeah, look, that it's Lee, fucking come the Tigers. on, mate. Well, he, he said that that, basically, that was his frustration that these things keep getting out and it's kind of like... I, you almost have to, like, you have to be the only person who makes any decision about anything. That's the only, Like, didn't the Fulton one, wasn't that the only one that didn't get out? And it's like, listen, dude, I can't tell a fucking soul about anything because it will get out. It's <laughs> like, I won't tell anyone about Fulton and everyone's blowing up. It's like, can't, I actually... No one mate, is keeping their mouth shut at this point. I will say, like, with West Tigers, uh, I guess performances on the field and where they finished on the ladder their ability to stay current and trending is second to none they're actually very good at trending you know what i mean like we are always talking about the west tigers and they're not even that big of a club well allegedly reportedly well, well, allegedly. allegedly reportedly if you're doing if you're going off the the numbers Denon, and that's what i like to point to the numbers they're not they're not a big glamour club Right, they're not, but mm. they're in the fucking headlines day in, day out. People are fascinated by they're, the Tigers, they're like, like absolutely, like yeah. absolutely fascinated. Are they a reality by show contestant that's now got like a fuckload of followers? So it's like, no, you're not it's a list. It's a train wreck. You can't look away from. You're like, oh, what the fuck's happening now? Allegedly, it's just allegedly. Well, I mean, what I mean by train wreck is back to back spoons. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That's true. Allegedly. That's, that's, no, you can't allege. No, no, no. no, no. You don't have to allege back to back spoons. Okay, okay. okay. good. Okay. Good. Back to back good. spoons have been accomplished. Okay. You can't look away from great signings, right? Like Papa Lee, like fucking Bateman, like Coruscant. Still come last. Can't look away. Can't look away from the fact that they bring back the genius, genius, Tim <laughs> Sheens. Who realizes it's not the late eighties anymore, and maybe he allegedly got, we can't. Allegedly. He may not have realized that. Yeah, he that's may not true. Have that's alleged. <laughs> that is alleged. Comes back, goes not for me. Then you got Benji, who's bringing back his old ragtag bunch of mates from two thousand and five, starting to fucking fill things up. That's not alleged. That's a fact. That's, that is a fact. That's, no, that's a true. fact. That's we can we can. And I'm not. And I'm. And everyone loves Benji, but everyone's like, "Holy shit, Benji! What are you doing to yourself? This is almost like." You know, this you is like pain. You're like, yeah, you're like, this is bondage sort BDSM of stuff. BDSM sort of shit. Like allegedly. Hot wax on my balls. Yeah, yeah. yeah like allegedly. 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 Yeah. But that's the what it's, that's what it, it looks like from the outside in, you're getting whipped. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looks like. But in no, a BDSM like, like, setting. Like, 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 are we talking like gerbil work? <laughs> well, I'm not ruling out that Richard Gear sort of work, you know what bro. I mean? no, Again, not. that's also alleged on Richard Gear. There's no proof of that. But just that, you know, like you're into some kinky shit, allegedly. Correct. Now. Now we're floating the idea of bringing across rugby union sensation, former coach, coach of Argentina, coach of the former coach of the Wallabies, won a fucking comp with the Waratahs. They're bringing him over to be the general manager of football. Well, he coached six games for Lebanon. He did coach six good, honest, hard-hitting games of football for Lebanon, and now he's their general manager of football. Tom and I were well, musing. Link, link to link to Tom and I were musing yesterday. Mm. We can't help but feel like this might be a little bit of a, well, it worked with Alan Jones situation. Mm. 
Allen famously coached the Wallabies and then nipped over to the Tigers. Mm. Is this just like a modern day version of that? They do seem to dip into the past to try and go forward. Well, it's like a, it's like a remake of a film. And about a good remake? Well, that's a that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's did, did I mean listen? Did remakes fucking... remakes aren't sequels. Re- remember that. Yes, <laughs> and like I don't know if Alan won the comp with the Tigers. In fact, I do know allegedly he didn't win with the Tigers. So. <laughs> You know, is it a good remake? Is it appropriate to remake that film? Was that a movie anyone was asking to be remade, Ocean's 8? Um, <laughs> maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But it seems like potentially they've got a new fucking Gen Z director on board. And yeah, Gen Z, trying to change the past to a degree. You know what I mean? And they're just trying to do this weird remake. Because remakes can be good. I'll but point you towards Titanic, which mm. was remade. Mm. It was Titanic. It was like an older Titanic. Then really? James Cameron I didn't comes, know that. Then James Cameron comes on and goes. <clears throat> That's when you know it's a good remake. When you Calm don't know the that. fuck down the lot of you. Bang. Nailed it. Then you've also got Ocean's Eleven in ensuing sequels. And well, then, no, and then Ocean. Sequels. Yeah, no, 11 and 12. Uh, yeah, 12 and 13. Great. Sweet. But then you've got Ocean 8s so coming along. And this is not a, no, it's not a knock on Ocean's 8. It just wasn't well, no, it as wasn't good. good. Yeah. I'm not knocking you, but it just was shit. Well, it just wasn't good. It was no, there's no disrespect or shade it was just a shit film but <laughs> so was Ghostbusters um, we're just saying it's a weird remake it's a weird remake I tell you what was really good actually is, and I don't even watch anime is one take on Netflix going super geek on you boys you but know that, you've, the neck does neck beard coming yeah, out well, maybe well, well, more, more, it's more um, weeb kind of stuff I think anime that's the, like the derogatory term is weird. Right, but that's something neck beard knows I don't know what the fuck that yeah, is yeah yeah fair well I, I, I got you know what I got sidetracked because there's always also been the stigma around anime remakes or not or oh, making anime it. into live action. And so that's what took me down that path. Right. And now I regret it because you guys right. have no fucking I bearing couldn't, on I that couldn't path. have less how long than is it, How long does it take to grow a neck? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even grow a full beard. Well, you know, you get rid of it. Do you reckon it just all grows there? No, I think that I almost wouldn't be shocked if you've got some sort of prosthetic <laughs> makeup on to hide your neck every time <laughs> you come in here. Yeah. Then when you leave, it just fucking, you take it up and it's strip off and it <laughs> yeah, flops just, back out. <laughs> It's just Bang. this massive yeah. neck beard. Yeah. Just pure neck beard. Nothing yeah. All neck, dude. No, no, just neck beard straight up. Yeah. Top hat neck well, beard. I regret that little pathway we went down, Matty. Oh, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was tough to, it was tough to understand. Um, So not only did Alan Jones not win the comp with Balmain, but they made the finals and two grand finals in the five years before he came. And then as soon as he came, they went 12th, 10th, 15th and actually never made the finals again. See, so this is okay. a slightly different remake. <laughs> we've never, they, they haven't made the finals for 20 years or whatever. And now they're going to do an Alan Jones. Interesting. Mm. But interesting that they're looking to the past, Alan Jones, to try and fix the situation when the Alan Jones years weren't that good. No. <laughs> now, we're only alleging that they're using the Alan Jones years as the impetus for signing Michael Check. That could be incorrect. That's all alleged. Luke. Everything we said is totally alleged. Totally yeah, alleged. but Tom, let's just look at it logically. They're basically the same thing. <laughs> I agree with you, Eddie, but I'm just... Crossing my T's and dotting my I's here it's litigiously. All it's yes. all a legend reported litigiously. Yeah, this is this is all based off the information we've got. It could be incorrect. It could be it could be completely wrong. We're just fucking. It's it it pays to say allegedly. Yeah, it does. <laughs> also, no defamation here. We're no. just we're just going. Is this possible? That's the we're not we're not we're saying running anything. Through we're just asking questions. We're, we're, not, we're asking questions. You ever heard of the term brainstorming? Yeah. <laughs> Whiteboard session? Yeah, whiteboard session. Now some real positives. Some real positives for the club. Jareem Buller. Coaching? Is he, the, is he the new coach? He well, signed he signed a 20-year deal and in the next 10 captain years. Coach. Yeah. Captain coach. He'll captain coach in his 10th year. No bullshit though. Jareem Buller. Hot signing. Can Great play. Signing. Great signing. Can play. Hot signing. I wonder how much they're Fine paying. of the year. Could he be rookie Him and Preston Campbell. Uh, yes, Preston. Preston Campbell. No, Jake, Jake, Jake Preston. Oh, my God. Jake Preston. Jake, Preston I mean, if Campbell. someone Jacob. found Preston Campbell and played, he'd probably Jake, Jake Preston. Preston Campbell. Jake Preston. Him and Buller. Bulldogs. Yes. Bulldogs, Jake and Preston? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The manly kid. Manly kid that we let oh, go. No. Just making sure you knew. <laughs> manly kid. Because you're all over the map. <laughs> okay, okay. Preston uh, Campbell will fucking come back, Brown. Yeah, I know. J- <laughs> Jareem, I hope... Like, how much do you reckon... We don't like to muse on people's salaries here. That's not, our, that's not for us to do, right? <laughs> not our racket. Not our racket. But I hope he's had one of the great bump-ups of all time. He's I'll come be the, from... Yeah, he'll be like, the Burmo bump. The Burmo bump. Like, he'd, he didn't have he, a fucking... He'd want to have been given a huge, big, huge. thick, meaty bump. <laughs> Massive one. They can last bump. like a last a long like time. Like come to the stalls with Kalen and fucking <laughs> Kurt Man sort of a bump. <laughs> yeah. It's like buy a house, go to the store with your mates because like you just bought a house. Go to the store, go to the shitters with your mates because you just bought a house sort of a bump. I like that. 
Yeah. That's he'd need a big one. He'd need yeah. a huge one. Yeah. Well, no, a romper. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Like send a photo of you on Instagram to your mates with a fucking it's a jo- and it's a joke with a as joke. Well. You're hanging out of your mouth. Yeah, sort of a which was a joke. Yeah, so it was a fucking great one. But that sort of bar. No, one of the all time jokes. <laughs> Huge joke. Well done though, Tigers. Because mate, honestly, also happy they've, for him. They've start. They've got some cattle. They have a good roster. They've got some cattle. And I, I know they've got this, some cattle. I know this sounds mental. I know this sounds crazy. But they are better than last year. No, say say the line, Bart. No, that's the a doggy song, Bart. Bart. No, that's say, say the, the line, line Bart. Bart. Stay patient, Tigers. <laughs> Stay patient. Yes. <laughs> but they do have a good roster. They do. But they are better than last year. I honestly believe that. I agree as well. Like I honestly believe they played better rugby league. League, and well, they also had but they never but they happy. didn't often get blown the fuck out that's what i mean no like the dogs got their asses blown out <laughs> they on blew the their back out weekly dude <laughs> yeah yeah like like towards the end like there, like we'll, fucking prolapse wrecked them yeah shit. like wheelchair sort of stuff <laughs> yeah like walk funny kind of stuff yeah yeah like you know you're fucking bow-legged you've had your <laughs> asshole blown out so <laughs> so i i honestly think they'll be i don't think they'll make the eight next year but i think they'll be better next year i really do I hope I, so. well actually fuck i forgot that brooks is gone but yeah. they've got like twelve other halves. They got they got fucking fine now. He's more of a six. He's more of a six. They got Caesar. Caesar. Caesar will be good for him. Good. Good. Also, you oh, got, I didn't see they yeah. got him from the. I'm pretty sure. Caesar. Yeah. They got Bud Sullivan. They got fucking fine now. <laughs> brothers. Fine now is Dewey probably comes a year or two back. Away. Dewey, I reckon, is a center. I reckon he's a good center. He's 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 one of their best players, but I think he'd be best suited at center. And you, I reckon in the halves you go Caesar Sullivan. But Caesar salad. A Caesar Sullivan salad. There you go. There you Caesar go. and Bud Sullivan. Nice. There you go. They'll be all right. All reportedly, all allegedly. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say they'll be all right. They may not be. <laughs> yeah, they may not be all right. <laughs> uh, Telstra, in collaboration with the NRL, are hosting the NRL Telstra Footy Country Tour, which is well underway. Former and current NRL legends are going to visit remote and regional communities with coaching clinics, club gala days, and prize photo ops with trophies. Kicking off during finals footy, the tour journeys through Queensland, Victoria and New South Wales, finishing at the 2023 Grand Final at a core stadium. The link for more information of where they will be going and how to register is in the show notes. During the week, uh, Storm were seen wearing Panthers kit at training. They've really taken the whole, I guess, pretend to be the opposition team to a whole new level. Mm. And what I love about it is it looks like those kits have been brought from Best and less or lows. Or Peter win score. If you don't score, he's going to have a score. One of the great all-time Aussie stores. Yeah. You know, I, listen, I think they should have gone a couple of steps further. I think they should have been fucking training at a core, and I reckon they should have got 80,000 in there. <laughs> what about this, Eddie? Can I take it one more step further? What if they got fucking Penrith down to training? <laughs> and and actually got Penrith there. Get them down. Yeah, Paid them yeah. an appearance. And said, and said how well, are you? Them. And just be like, like, let's just, no bullshit. Mm. Let's just stop fucking each other around. Yeah. Players, if you're going to play on Friday night. Yeah. Like exactly the Throw same. Throw your trick shots at us. Let yeah. us see what's coming. And, and you've you got to promise not to change anything when we actually play you for real. Yeah. Let's Deal? stop these games. It's like this flirting yeah. that we're doing across yeah. team name yeah. announcements. Is Ryan playing? Is he not? Let's just go all the way now. Yeah. Can we? Let's go all the way together. Let's go to fourth base. Let's go all the way. That's, I reckon they just together. wanted to go all the way with Penrith. Yeah. It's Listen, bold. I like it. Also, it's like, bold. I think as well, you got to understand, like, if you don't do that, mm. when the boys are training, you know the term train like you're going to play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going to train and, you know, you've got your, you, there are some guys in bibs opposing you, when you get out there on game day, you go, <laughs> Who's who the guy? fuck are these guys? <laughs> why, is, why is Cleary not wearing a bib? Who the fuck are these guys in black? We've been training against people in orange and yellow bibs yeah, all week. That's a great point. And it'll rattle you. That's a core. great point. Imagine going out there and first hit up, you're ready to tackle a bloke wearing an orange bib, and then some bloke not in fluoro, in black, a little bit harder to see. Mate, you might tackle a fucking trainer. You're a fucking referee? Seriously. You can tackle and train it. <laughs> Bloke's trying to water. Yeah, Peter the Wallace line. is going to get fucking coat hanging out there for Penrith. <laughs> <laughs> I um I I like it. I tell you why. Mm. Have you ever heard the old saying leave no stone unturned? <laughs> this is no stone sort of stuff. Oh yeah, no stone. This is we're up against it, backs against the wall. This is forget one percenters. This is this is point zero 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 one percent sort of stuff from C B Craig Bellamy. And oh. I'm here for it. There's a reason he's been one of the well he's 
the best player developer and one of the greatest coaches yeah. of all time. You forget about one percenters, mate. Yeah. He wants to. He's going fucking. He's going quantum. Is, he's going quantum for him is a hundred percent. You yeah. know what I mean? Yes. Like that's what we do all the time. Yeah, so it's not a one percent. I need to shave, you know, mm. point zero whatever percent. So Craig's gone quantum. He's a quantum man. He's a quantum man. Yeah, he, quantum guy. He he's actually, I believe, his coaching strategy defies Einstein's initial. Um, Listen, Craig's got his theories right, <laughs> and if you ask Craig about Einstein, he thinks he was a fucking hack. <laughs> and yeah. I tend to agree. Up against Craig. Yeah. How many comps did How many comps did Einstein win? <laughs> How many games of rugby league did he play? Let alone fucking comps his coach. Einstein wouldn't have a fucking clue about fucking rugby league. Yeah, try EMC, EMC squared when fucking Nelson's running at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. try that bullshit. How many immortals played under fucking Einstein? Yeah, none. You know what I'm saying? None. Like, Craig. Yeah. You ever Craig seen Einstein running shape? Not no. me. <laughs> Not I said, but I have seen Matty Johns and Caxon's fucking upper room running shape. You fucking oath we have. <laughs> yeah. But Einstein hasn't. In so, ipso facto. Oh, this is, but you know what? I, I've done plenty of. Good rose, by nice, the way. Nice. Great. I've done plenty of sessions where you're like, you're pretending to be that person, but I've actually never seen them actually wearing the jersey of the opposition. No, they like should have got, they should have got Mission Impossible masks made as well. <laughs> so I was like, holy shit, if is that Nathan the, Cleary? You couldn't get the Penrith down there. Yeah, but they probably refused. <laughs> yeah, they might. They're dogs like that. No, they mm. are. Yeah, Penrith wouldn't. Have then come you get the next best thing. Obviously, next best thing if they can't be there in person is the Mission Impossible mask. with the voice and everything. Because you actually yeah. think it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. And it's you know, kind of like cosplay, isn't it? What Maybe. is cosplay? That's what I was trying to think. Do you know what? I, when I think of cosplay, you know what I think of? Cos lettuce. Yeah. Thank you. Really, my guy. Yeah. My I guy. think of Give nerds dressed that, up dude. as like. Give me some of that. Give me some. You don't of that. think of cos lettuce? No, I think of you with your fucking head, dude. Well, okay. Um, I you need think, your head red. Yeah, well, right. Fair, that's a fair comment. That's a fair comment. Uh, I personally think of nerds dressed up as their favourite video things. video game character. That's what I think of. Cosplay. I actually don't know what cosplay is. Does that I make me a bad? Play. Does that make me a bad person? It's like when nerds fucking comic books. Is it just right? costume play? I think so. So like, let's say you play a video game and there's a character in it you really like. You go to a convention dressed as that character. It's like Halloween. Yeah. For geeks. No. So this is what this is. Mm -hmm. Rugby yeah. League cosplay. Rugby League Halloween. Yeah. Is <laughs> this, where did they, is this like Comic-Con? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Johnny Drama. He used to get into his work at Comic-Con. <laughs> He's never seen Entourage. Never seen Entourage. Fuck off. I haven't Has seen it. I haven't seen it, man. Damn it. I fucking haven't seen it, man. Tom and I, let me let you, let you in on a little secret. Okay. Tom and I went to Melbourne a couple of weeks ago just to be a bit of R&D. Um, R <laughs> yeah. BDM, R and D, BDM, BDSM. We always, we always, <coughs> we um, we enjoy the looks we get, okay? Because everyone thinks we're homosexual, and okay. that's fun stuff. Oh, it's a good time. Yeah, it's Share very disarming for people. People just like you, you just you people's biggest fucking fan almost. It's it's a lovely feeling. Yes, it is. It's nice. And Tom and I like to get a a twin because <laughs> we I. You know, if the mood strikes. <laughs> <laughs> B, it's cheaper. Yeah. And we got into one of the great entourage sessions of all time recently. Okay. And it just brought it back to me how fucking elite that show is. Yeah. Also, like many like uh, cancelable moments, or at least the society itself has moved on. It's, yes. it's wild to watch that show and think that the shit like... And it's not that old. No, it's not that old. No. Of just how play on some of the stuff was back in those times. You're like, holy fuck, dude. Yeah. Isn't it weird how... A piggish time. Great show, though. How great easily, show. like, the general zeitgeist can shift. Mm. Like, That's us, a huge shift. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, isn't it weird how easily, like, for example, us would say, oh, mate, it's a joke. Who gives a shit? 2008 would be like, that's a joke. Who gives a shit? Yeah. But even us now would be like, oh. Bro, we were oh a bunch of That's what like, I mean. Chicks on that show were just... <laughs> Arm candy, like they didn't say anything. They weren't but fucking. Like, you're like, not a worse bloke than you were back then. No, you know what I mean. You're I'm the just same more guy. Aware. Yeah, it's but yeah. like people would say, oh, you're a bad person, but it's like, no, you're the same person. You just maybe have a bit more information or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. no one gave a fuck. No Mate, there's like like fuck. most of the scenes is just like fucking tans sitting there, just like <laughs> like nothing. you know batting their eyelids and shit. Oh, it's man. it's fucking wild stuff. Or it's just like girls hopping out of pools. But you know time. what? I do think there is a space if the story requires it. Like if if it requires it, you should be allowed to do no, it. No, no, no. If the story requires it, but like <laughs> there was a bit of padding in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. 
Uh, I don't know how the fuck those two things are linked. Entourage and the Storm wearing Panthers kid. Johnny train. Drama, Love Cosplay, Comic Con. Well, there it is. There it is. And that's all I got to say about that. <clears throat> uh, now, before we get onto it, make sure to go to Shoe Grab. It's free delivery on all orders over $99. Sneakers, casual performance, slides, limited exclusive, plus a bunch of clothes and accessories. Oh, no, no worries, mate. Make yourself at home. Make yourself at home, mate. Me casa su casa. Thank you, mate. Me um, casa su casa. Oh, did I say it wrong? I think you said it wrong as well. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, grab some shoe grab stuff. Free delivery over nine hundred dollars plus on their Instagram. They've got specials on hectic shoes. And just a reminder, use code Chance for free delivery when you spend $15 or more. You also go in the draw to win a $200 voucher for grand final weekend. That is right. So if you use the code Chance for free delivery, $15 or more, you also go on the draw to win $200 free uh, a voucher grand final weekend. So you can shout your mates with a feed. Kolomatangi, linked with the Roosters, also sort of linked with the Raiders. Transfer whispers, the Roosters will go after Keon Kolomatangi. Uh, he was previously linked with the Raiders. I think the Raiders are probably still in the, the race for him. Demetrio came out during the year saying how much else would like to keep him. What do you reckon, boys? Go to the Raiders, mate. <clears throat> yeah, but the Raiders got so many forwards. I don't understand why they keep chasing more forwards. They need halves and well, fullbacks. It's true. Point, but the there's Roos no halves. The Roosters have got back rowers. It's not like they're fucking well, Angus, wide on. I think he's going to go to Union. And Satili did his ACL. So yeah, but Satili comes back. You got Nat. You got Wong. Egan. You got well, Wong. Well, Nat's more a middle player. Nat's more a middle player. Wong's still a, a rookie. Um, yeah, but he's and Egan's a middle player. Wong. Yeah, oh, he's hot. He's Wong's hot. A hot bitch. He's hot to try. So what, Egan? <clears throat> And Nat a middle player. I think so, personally. I think they only play. So what are you Nat an edge? Sorry, yeah, don't they play on the edge? What are you no, doing? What are you doing with Victor? Oh. Um, well, Victor's thirteen, so you'd have Egan Nat maybe off the bench like they used to play because right. Angus is gone. So, so you'd basically have you could have you'd have a fight like you've got to remember Keon's an Origin player, so he would be ahead of Satili and um, Wong in you know mm. getting that edge spot, and then you could have Wong can play. Oh fucking no! I'd can. pick Wong for New South Wales today. <laughs> Would you? If you came to Manly. <laughs> <laughs> but then you could have, that's when, or, but I actually believe Keon could play through the middle. I really do. I think he'd be a good middle player. He's fucking huge. Um, so, yeah, like at the moment, Angus has been coming off the bench. So you could have Satili mm. coming off the bench for impact. Mm. And then you could have Keon starting on one edge, Wong on the other. Or you could have Satili on one edge and then you could slowly ease Wong in off the bench and see how well, he listen, goes. Listen, it's, it's Roosters doing Roosters shit here. Like, good luck, Raiders. That's all I'll say. Oh. Unless, they, unless they empty their sacks. No, no, no. It's no, like, no, good no, luck, no, Raiders. No, no, no. Listen, if you're the Raiders and let's say you're Ricky Stewart and you pick up the paper and you see that Keon Colomatung is now linked with the Roosters, you just give up, don't you? Yeah. You don't even fucking bother. You just go, mate. You give Game, him a call. set, match. Yeah. If Nick and the boys come knocking, you say yes. Name someone that said no. Name me someone. I don't know. Who the fuck has said no to the Roosters? Has anyone? Hmm. Um, well, I know. Well, there's been players that have tried to leave the Roosters. Not talking about that. Yeah, fair, fair call, fair call. I'm trying to think. No, I can't. I can't think of anyone big that, that they go after. They, they seem miss. to get their man. They get their man. They, they get, get their, their man. man. And that's why if I'm Ricky, I'm fucking. I didn't get paint house. Yeah, but they weren't even. They were like, oh, with the come idea. on. You know why? Because he loves his club. No, he loves they the didn't Broncos. Really go for him. Pain no. was if that wasn't a like. We're getting pain. Oh, situation. come on. They now. had to give. They don't. They don't have. Like even for them, they would have been fucking ridiculous trying to. Spend that would have been. It, listen, pain. listen. There's flying clo too close to the sun, and then there's like flying into it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That would have been absurd. <laughs> In well, the extreme. Maybe Hargreaves retires. Okay. You know, yeah, maybe yeah, Angus yeah. Crichton moves yeah, on. Yeah, and Lindsay Collins isn't a fucking orange player. Hey, mate, what about how <laughs> like, Lindsay, what are we talking about? Lindsey Collins winning player of the year. He's have you watched his speech? No, I saw a bit of it this mate, morning where he was so tearing good. up and shit. But so that's good. It. He's been fucking amazing this year. He's good. He's like a big game fucking front rower. I'm, I'm a fan. Unbelievable. I'm a fan of Lindsay yeah. Collins. Yeah, I, I, I like Lindsay a lot. A nut trucker that can score meaties. You know yes. what I mean? He's well, technically can't be a nut trucker because he played Origin. Uh, yeah. You need oh, and nut truckers can't play Origin. Nah, you Your highest honors right. have to have been City, City Country. Country. Fair call. Mm. Fair call. In the in the purest, like you know, he's paying hard for a nut trucker. Absolutely not. No, okay, you I, know see, what I'm I see. Yeah, all right. Maybe I got my definitions. I That's was broadening him too far. Yeah, That's you okay. yeah. Hey, like, I I, I, He's got the spirit of a nut trucker, but he's actually he's got, got the like, ability he's, of yeah. more than a nut trucker. He's, he's That's right. Too, okay. too I know you. You are half right. Yeah, okay, appreciate that. Appreciate half that. Right. Um, but yeah, key on, key on to the the roosters, isn't it? 
I guess I'm surprised Keon hasn't re-signed with the Rabbitohs. Mm. Um, and I, like you hate to read into things too much, but you have to ask yourself if the Rabbitohs were everything was fine, everything going well, would have he already re-signed? You know, again, all just questions. If well, I mean, if he if he's if he's happy where he is and the and the numbers right, then yeah, you would think so, one hundred percent. So you reckon it's either surely the numbers are right? It could be. It could be one or the other though. Yeah. realistically. But like, I mean, surely you're paying key on what he's fucking deserved. Like, who else you got in that forward pack? That I mean, I know Jai Arrow be on a good wicket. Maybe Tom Burgess, Jai, Tom, uh, Cook. Who's that? Cam's out? on Who's good Cam? money. Cam, Cam's hot. Yeah, high. okay. So maybe there. But if if the Roosters can fit him, like, well, but the Roosters don't cheat the cap. <laughs> That's the difference. That, yeah, yeah, and Rabbitohs do. Yeah. <laughs> no, Rabbitohs don't. Rabbitohs don't. Rabbitohs don't Rabbitohs 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 no one cheats don't. the cap. No one does. Uh, but the Roosters definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's no, there's no, there's no way of sugarcoating sugarcoating the truth, and that is that the Rabbitohs went from first to fucking ninth. There is supposedly a lot of disharmony where there's smoke, there's fire, mm. as they say. And maybe Colin Matungi's like, get me the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> like, is that possible? 100% of it. I is. reckon Matty's about to have a breakdown. Is it not? Is that, is that is all of a sudden impossible? Sam Burgess, heart and soul of the club. Heart and soul. On your bike, bra, in the fucking business end of the season. Let's mm. like let's not bullshit Whips each other. Let's of not shit. bullshit each other. Need to win the what game. What round is it? Round 26. Oi, Sam, get over here, cunt. Fuck off. <laughs> is that not alarming to <laughs> anyone? Need to win the game. Yeah, they, the South did a good job re-signing everyone kind of before this whole implosion. He's Kalomatungi is kind of the last piece of the puzzle, so it is getting slightly concerning, especially when the Roosters come knocking. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. I said, find me someone they didn't sign. Find me someone. But he's a Rabbitohs junior, so it'd be devastating if he like devastating oh, yeah, if he's he left. Playing with Cam Murray, like they played in the same team. Listen, together. clubs clubs lose juniors, mate. Clubs lose juniors, and Roosters love. To I think he'll stay. I think he'll stay. Me too. Like, if for him, if he does leave. It's surely got to be because there's Kevin Nangama's at the club. Like it, I can't see Who? them offering him Kevin Nang dramas. Kevin Nangama's. Sorry. Sorry, I was like, Sorry. he's back. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was at the Roosters for a bit. That's it. Well, it's a good point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just I, say Kevin's next time. Sorry, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wig me out. Wig me out. Sorry. Um, so that's where I'm like, he's a he's a junior. Surely they're not offering like maybe they're offering him less. He can get up in the open market, but surely it's not so much less. You know, where they that loyalty isn't going to play a bit of a part, mate. I was again. Listen, we're, we're we're speculating wildly here, but I repeat my earlier statement: if the Roosters come knocking legit, they often get their man. Maybe it's his manager going, let's just use the Roosters card. Potentially, Good potentially. Arm. And well done if he does. Potentially. But like, you know, fucking the Roosters, mate. Moore Park, SFS, always go all right. Billionaires. Now, Rabbitohs are billionaires, but like, you know, they're not cool it's like, oh, it's, it's, Could you imagine how booty he will get if he plays the Roosters? It fucking juicy. Yeah, give oh. a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he stays. I reckon he stays, surely. He's a junior though, so going to your arch enemy is a big call. It's hectic. It's a big, 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 big call. Oh man, that'd be a big day. Do it. Do but it. But it means less than it did. True. You know? It made, like it just it does. It like, it means less. Saying than that, it. the rivalry's been pretty hectic last Crichton, couple of years. I know Crichton wasn't a junior, but he went from the Rabbitohs to Roosters. No, he was actually a Roosters man as a kid. He's a Roosters fan. No, he's in there like junior. I'm pretty sure he played like in there like Roosters. He played, he wasn't like a, he obviously grew up in the country, but he did play SG ball for the yeah, Roosters. There you go. Country like, like I grew up or? No, not the city. You're from the beach, Denon. Let's, <laughs> let's just, let's just fucking stop going on about this silly, silly, silly yarn. <laughs> Mate, I come from the country. I'm a country boy. You yeah. could see, you've admitted to me off camera <laughs> in the green room that you could see the ocean from your house. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Fucking disgraceful. <laughs> um... Okay, let's get into it, boys. The big game, the big dance. Oof, the big dance is Panthers v the Storm. Luai's named and confirmed to play, reportedly. Now, obviously, the, the team sheet's come out an hour before, but Red today confirmed in. Hughes named as well. Coates still out. How do you boys see this playing out, this game? Mate, honestly, I 
I think that a a nicely rested, a nicely massaged, mm. a nicely uh, backed up, got the boys invigorated up. Panthers side who pride themselves on defence, mm. go out of there and fuck the storm up. Okay. Now it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be a. Broncos demolition in sort of in terms of points, mm. but I think they fucking choked the shit out of them. I mm. don't, I can't see them scoring more than one try. BDSM really choke, like I'm enjoying it, or is it more of a vibe? No, I was in like I've forgotten my safe word. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> so you reckon they're, they're they're on the field and Munster's <laughs> Munster's yelling out to Hughes, "What's your safe word?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Mate, I just I think the Panthers like they just they that's what they pride themselves on. That's how they've won their comps is yeah. defense. And I think they go out there and just fucking bow and constrict them. I was looking at the teams. 18 the other nil, day. twenty nil. Yeah. I was looking at the teams four, the other day and I'm like, like I like can't see them scoring a point. They couldn't score a point against the Broncos, who don't hate letting in tries. Like mm. they they're less defensively minded. Yeah. I it, Panthers are just flexing, you know. I just when I like the Panthers last few weeks, I don't know why I get this feeling. But I almost get this feeling they're just like so fucking keen to play. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't look tired. No, 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 no. They don't look fatigued. Nah. They're just like, fucking get me out there, coach. That's what it feels yeah, 100%. like. 100%. They rested week before the finals. They got the week off after, or last week. Cleary's had fucking what? How long off? Seven weeks? Seven or eight weeks. Seven or eight season. weeks. Like, it's just, that means a lot. Yeah. It means a fuckload. And Storm, like Hughes, is he fit? Is he not? I know Luai's in doubt, but like Hughes is massive for the Storm. They've he's also been good without Luai. Like Luai's obviously important to him, but like Cogger's done a job when he's come in. So like. It also could be like almost a little bit distracting. No, don't get me wrong. The, the, you would go at Luai, but sometimes it can be a bit distracting where your whole game plan is just like get the ball to Nelson, run at Luai, and it almost like overthrows what you've been doing the whole year. Um, but also. Yeah. Were you convinced by the storm last week against the Roosters, no. who have been up for fucking eight weeks just to make the fucking finals? Like storm won through pure grit. Like the fact they were even in that game was hectic. Yeah, I think they're in big trouble. I think they're in huge trouble. To be honest, yeah, I just can't see a way they win. I, I honestly believe that if if Storm win this game, it's one of Craig Bellamy's best wins he's ever had. Yep. It'd be one of the greatest wins in the club's history if because they get this W. Then they go into a grand final and you just never know what will happen. Anything can happen in a grand final. So, yeah, if they somehow pull this off, you'd, it'd just be, a, yeah. Like, what can you say then with Craig Bellamy and his incredible record? There's nothing more to say. It's another it's another notch on, on our old old Cameron Munster's belt as well. It's starting, he'd be getting <laughs> some, starting to put together a serious belt. It'd be all notch. All like, notch. Even, even last weekend, like, he had a quiet game. Didn't do much. And then fucking... He needs to pull the hog out. He pulls the hog out every time. Yeah, yep. every time. Every freaking time. Can um, you can you see the storm winning though? Obviously, that anything. Gundy, uh, obviously, yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. All happen. that, all that out of the way. No, I think the Panthers win convincingly. Yep. I think the Panthers win convincingly. But anything can happen in a final city. Clear, he could go out do his hammy in the first ten. Obviously, I don't want that to happen. Well, get ten in the bin. You know what I mean? Like no one thought the Dolphins would beat the Roosters, and I understand Panthers and Roosters are different beast. But you just sometimes never know. But if I had to say, like, with the information I have right now, uh, disregarding a massive upset, I just don't know where on the field they can get the points needed to beat Panthers. Mm. I just don't know. Because Panthers are going to score in the storm. Yep. So, and also, like, Panthers are only letting in, you know, I think it's like 12.5 points on average for the whole season. Mm. So, so basically... Top eight sides, eight. So, basically, you need to keep Panthers... To fucking eight points. Otherwise, you're not going to beat them. <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, it's exactly. It's just not going to happen. So, yeah, fuck. it's not happening. Tough gig. Very, tough very tough gig. gig. But going to be a great game. You know, there's going to be spite. There's going to be pushing, shoving the stuff we love. Um, but I just don't know. How you're yeah, beat the they were saying the other day on the Matty John show they got um, they got Mitchell Moses on because he's had a bit of success regular season. He kept reiterating he hasn't had big game success, which was class of Mitch. He's got class. He was like, mate, he's got to take the back five out of it. <laughs> oh, how do you do that? Just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> stop Tom off from getting meters. <laughs> he's so. like, you probably can't really restrict him to any less than 250, eh? right? Okay. <laughs> It's so Exciting. true. Like, and all year people have been trying to keep Toto out of it, and he still averages fucking ten tackle breaks, two hundred meters a game. Because he loves, he loves trucking nuts. Nah. Kids are psychopaths. He loves trucking nuts. Nah. Absolute. He psychopath. loves it, and he's so soft and kind off the field. You would think he would be he's a maniac. A, he's a beautiful. He'd, soul. he'd a beautiful rock soul. you to sleep if you asked. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Yeah, 
to- are gonna buy you a mockingbird. <laughs> I can see him doing that. I could see him doing that. He likes anime. Does he? And he doesn't have a neck beard. <laughs> that we know of. <laughs> Prosthetics, Dan. And Prosthetics. I play dumb, mate. We I know reckon what's underneath to- that. Look, I reckon Toto also watches One Piece on Netflix. Just saying. I'm sure, dude. I'm sure. And I'm sure that, you know, he's got a team of Is One Piece about fedora. like one cock to rule them all? <laughs> Is it like the fucking mega hog that just like rules? No, it's basically. Rules like, like the world of hogs. <clears throat> I mean, metaphorically, you could say. Mm. Metaphorically, it mm. is that. But it's basically uh, a young pirate, named Leafy or something, or Leffy, that... Leaf. Leffy, I think, or something. And I, I don't know the anime. I've just watched... Start to grow, just listen to this. I just watched two episodes on Netflix. Hey, commenters, if you watch the show, show these guys I'm not fucking crazy. No one comments. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Commenters, reach out. Basically, he's a young pirate and he wants to become the, uh, the king of the pirates. And <coughs> this old pirate who got executed that represents freedom. So, like, kind of like... Establishment, anti-establishment today. There's some parallels. Um, <laughs> there's deeper themes. Uh, there's sure. deeper themes. Uh, sure, uh. Sure. So anyway, he has a huge treasure. And as he's getting executed, he <laughs> yells out, that's uncouth. That's uncouth. What, dude? I fell asleep. We're on a podcast. That's super uncouth. It's the rosé. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sailed tonight. Six down. Oh, my sorry. God. Anyway, so he basically says as he's getting executed... <laughs> Go and find my treasure. Yep. And treasure. they cool. think, the establishment think that by executing him, they're going to scare everyone. But because he said, go find my treasure, he makes more pirates that are anti-establishment. So there's a race to find the one piece, which is the treasure. Question. Yes. Is there a katana anywhere in this story? Of course there is. Of course there is. Of course there is. One of the main guys, I don't know, I forgot his name, but one of the main guys that joins Leffy's crew, I think it's Leffy, I don't even know. He has a katana. Is the, is the treasure Napoleon Bonaparte's penis? <laughs> The Look, one piece we haven't found it yet, so who it might I, be who I believe. I believe, and maybe we'll be able to look this up for us. I believe Napoleon's penis in a private collection. Wow. So there's some big fat billionaire out there who's like, oh, "Hey, do you want to come and see Napoleon's cock?" Also, I've like, got it. Prove it, cunt. I bet you it's some. It's like a dog's dick from somewhere. Like, yeah, it's well, dog's dick, dick and human dicks look a little prove bit. Prove it. Napoleon's penis was <laughs> allegedly amputated. During an autopsy after his death, since then it's passed through several owners. It was purchased by John K. Latimer in 1977. Certified weirdo. And it's still held in his family who keeps it as a private item. That's what I'm saying. That's what you do. That's what you do after dinner. You go and have a fucking gander at Napoleon's cock. Bizarre. I mean, if there's one cock you want to see. Is it is? Is it even that interesting? Has he got a well, huge fucking dick? Is it? Nah, what's but the, he was, is it Napoleon, Napoleon, Napoleon had a bit about him. He had a bit about I him. I know Napoleon he only had a bit about him. P.S. The trailer for the hey, new movie looks fucking looks hectic. Dope. Napoleon Phoenix. had plenty about him. But like, listen, was listen, his dick it, anything worth listen, looking at? It's not about his dick. Yeah. It's about Napoleon's Napoleon. dick. Yeah, but that's weird. But it is if weird, the dick's not cool. But you're telling me if you went okay. to dinner at that weird billionaire's, you wouldn't be like, and they're like, look, you're gonna oh, say I'd no. Be, but we'd be, all say, we'd all yeah, say, I want sure, to yeah. sure. But like, if you were like, oh, I've got Joan of Arc's tits, I'd be like, that's a weird fucking See, thing to have. Why is that weird? Joan of Arc. But I think if you had Cleopatra's tits, you wouldn't have a gander. Of course I would, but it's a bizarre. That's what we're talking about. Have. Of course it's bizarre, but it doesn't mean it's not interesting. It's interesting because you're like, you're a sick fuck it for is having sick. his dick. But it's what's weird is he's sick for having it, but everyone else is not sick for wanting to see it. No, I agree with you there. If you had Adam's penis, you'd want to be like, I want to see it. Adam and Eve. Yeah. Of fame. Adam and what Eve about fame? Eve's vagina? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what, what if you had them both together? I think it's weird. all pretty fucking how you going. Like I wouldn't want to see. This, I wouldn't want to see that. This cock wouldn't be. Uh, I've got a feeling it'd just be like a little <laughs> like, be shriveled, shriveled up miss, now. M- mess. Two point five centimeters. Get what fucked. the hell? See now but I feel it, bad for Napoleon. That's it'd be that like, big. Oh, what it would have. Yeah, Napoleon would it'd be up in well heaven or hell. I don't know where he's, but he'd be going. What the fuck, dude? Like that wasn't. It's shriveled over time. Yeah. We're all like, look at that yeah. tiny little dick. I was in the pool. I was fucking. I, was I in died pool. in the pool. Yeah. What the fuck? I was in the pool to quote Seinfeld. Anyway. That's the that's the Panthers in the storm. Um, very Broncos Warriors. The game. Okay, Broncos Warriors. Both teams running out with the same seventeen as their previous game. Big matchup, obviously. Renault SJ and also Reese Walsh against his old club. Yep. This is going to be a hot game. This is going to be a phenomenal game. I actually pr- wish it was on Friday, just so I've got it sooner. Mm. But this reeks of a Friday game. It yeah. reeks of a Friday. It's got Friday energy. Friday yeah, energy. Yeah. This has got massive. Panther Friday Storm energy. is like. 
you both been in the finals way too often. Fuck off, sort of energy. Like, do it on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah. just like, I'm not that interested. No, give me this game. I've seen it. It's, it's sort of annoying. Yeah. yeah. I've seen it and good on you. And not I annoying, that's Friday. the wrong term, but it's sort of like, being there, done it. Whereas this game, ooh, this is new. Yeah. I, people that think it's a guaranteed win for Broncos, I think are mental. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. You're most likely, but it's not guaranteed. <clears throat> Put it this way, and I said it on the podcast on Monday, if Broncos went and beat the Knights at Suncorp 40 to 10, no one would say, oh, that's not a big win. They would say, that's a great fucking strong win. Yeah. So anyone sitting here saying, like, that, that matter of fact, if they beat them 40 to 10, be like, oh, that's probably about right of where they've been the whole season. So to say that, like, the Warriors are so much less than the Broncos, it's like, well, hang on a sec. They literally just beat the Knights 40 to 10. Fucked them up. Like, that's, that's not nothing. That's Their first nothing. loss in, like, nine weeks or something for the Broncos. Absolutely. Uh, the, the and then people might say, oh, they were, they were tired, fatigued or whatever. Okay, but... Still, Broncos, if Broncos beat them 40 to 10, you wouldn't be saying all that. You'd say, fuck, how good are the Broncos? Yeah. But because the Warriors beat them, that's like, oh, well, they must have been tired. It's like, no, hang on a sec. If Penrith did it, if Broncos did it or Storm did it, you'd be like, yeah, they're looking fucking red yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah. It's a good um, point. I think I, I still can't help but feel like the most likely result of the four, which is Broncos close win, Warriors close win, Warriors big win, Broncos big win. I think Broncos big win is the most likely outcome. I, um, I... <laughs> I want the Warriors to win, but my fear is that if the Warriors win, the grand final is decided again. But then also having to that, if the Warriors beat the Broncos, then they can absolutely. But then they've got the that magic final. source, that Kiwi magic source. Uh, absolutely, and being half Kiwi, I have been. You don't have that. You no, don't I do. Have we both do. No, no, no. But we all no, do. No, I don't think he's have it. Like, yeah. I, there's, a, there's a part of me that hates. How's that work? Show I, me the source. You don't what just show the source. Open. Dude. What are you, you talking about? Source is Release within it. you. No, it's within you, dude. My dad would be so offended to hear that. Yeah, so that's, that's <laughs> fucking He'd be disgraceful. fucking off you, bro. <laughs> I wish Broncos Warriors was a grand final. God, that'd be a nice, refreshing grand wow, final. Wow, could you imagine a Bron- Oh, that would be hot. That'd be hot. Fuck, that'd be hot. It's actually really annoying that Panthers are storming in a bed. But it's good that one of them gets through, though. Because me and Maddie were speaking about this last that's week. That's true. It sucks the Knights and Warriors are playing each other. But it's also good that at least one of them gets through because yes. if they both played someone else, they might have got. That's a good have. point. We yeah. will get a Broncos or Warriors in the final. In the finals, which is good. Listen, I've 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 taken Broncos to cover the line of ten and a half points. I think yeah. that's what happens. I've taken. It might be. It might be. It might be tight in the first half, but I think in the fullness of t- of rugby league time, mm. Dennis. Mm. I think the Broncos reign supreme. I think you see your boys in a final next week. I don't know Please. what to make of that. I don't know how that makes me Just feel as a you don't man. Know me. Yeah. Pretend it's you don't know me. Tell tough. me how you feel. You That'll don't know tough. me. That'll and be tough. You will be fucking unbearable yeah. if the Broncos oh, win the comp. Come on. You will be. You no, will, you know, you are. Because you you're, be... you're, you're not couth. Oh, you're uncouth. No. You're not couth. Kids oh, not couth at all. I feel all. like I'm the most couth bloke you're in the game. You're not bearable. You're unbearable. it would be tough. That's unfair. I feel like I'm a gracious winner. No, <laughs> you're not gracious. That's mate. something. That's something an ungracious person would say. Oh, yeah. You're ungracious. Man. You're not gracious. So, okay, let's just pretend you don't know me. Though, how happy would you be? Just give me a real. I wouldn't feeling. be that happy. I wouldn't be happy. If, would I be? You happy? don't want to see a bunch of young throbbers? I pr- listen. I want the Warriors happy, to like, win the grand final. I'm not going to be. I'll be like, oh, that's cool. I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> so you wouldn't be happy seeing those eyelashes flying down nah, a grand final. I'll, 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 I'll be like, that's win. cool. I wouldn't be happy. Okay, fair enough. Warriors winning would make me happy. Yeah. What? Yep. So you're more on the Warriors? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Oh, I, fuck, I thought we were mates. And I'm, sitting here giving, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here giving my honest opinion of the result because oh, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. But I want the Warriors to win. <laughs> that is fucked. You can't What's even back fucked me in this about one that? Well, we I've never fucking... I've stepped foot in fucking Queensland twice. If Manly my were life. playing, I'd be going for Manly. Bullshit. Because you're my mate. I'd be like, man, yeah, if, boy, if the Chinese Warriors were playing, you'd be going for them. <laughs> no, I wouldn't yes, be. Yes, you would. No, uh, I would be going, yeah, boys, I want you to be happy because you're the my Chinese, mate. If the Chinese Warriors were playing, <laughs> you'd be all over them. <laughs> mate, I would be wanting you boys to be happy. That's what friends do. You're a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're lying to me now, <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> enjoying it. No, I'm not. I'm lied to. <clears throat> I don't like getting lied to. Nah, fuck. Makes me I'm feel not lying. Weird. Makes me feel weird. <laughs> Makes me feel weird. Makes me feel really weird. But I don't like want Warriors to win. But either way, as we said, at least one of them's going through. Fuck the Panthers. Fuck the Storm. But I'd prefer Panthers to win over the Storm. Like if I could only pick one, to, like either Panthers Storm to win the grand final. Warriors, Panthers. Broncos, Panthers, Panthers Storm. Storm. Wow. Actually, like heaps of air, like dead air, like Storm. 
Yeah. Is that because the rivalry you guys have with them, or is it just because you just like as over if it. you aren't a no, like just over so it. over the Storm Bengals? <laughs> they don't deserve to win it it's either. Like, so, I'm so bored. I'm like, been, oh my they've been god, can you fuck off? They're please? not that good. They're a good team, not a great team. They're not a grand final winning team <laughs> this year. Most I, everyone outside of Melbourne fans would be like, it's time for the Storm to fuck off and finish tenth or something. Yeah. Panthers, you go three Pete, you're watching history, like that's dynasty shit. Warriors, obviously, are, you know, the Kiwi blood and sauce runs through and our good veins. For the game. And, and good for the, for the game. game. Broncos, young hot throbbers doing the damn thing. Fucking storm. Nah. What, Christian Welsh, friend of the show, needs another premiership? Fuck that. Don't Love think Christian, so. but Don't nah, think so. Nah. You've already got one, bro. Sorry, Shush. Christian. Maddie, who are you going for on the, the weekend? Uh I'm going for Warriors, obviously, but what I... What the fuck? Yes! But... Yes, Matty. The only reason I wouldn't mind Brisbane winning is because I... Because Denon's your boss. I, no, no, no. Because, Aaron, because I want Adam Reynolds to win. Oh, you're yeah, that sort of guy. What is wrong with you guys? Why mm. do you hate the Broncos so much? What do we ever do to anyone? You're second. Warriors, Broncos. What do you... Yeah, like, second. What do you, are we yeah, gonna hate you? that's hate. I'm pretty sure I was... I couldn't have been clearer. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the storm. There was dead air between third and them. <laughs> You were second. I tell you what, that hurts the heart, boys. Mm. I thought you'd get on the Broncos hot bandwagon. Okay, Broncos, Panthers, grand final. Broncos? Panthers. Panthers. What the f- As in you would be going for the Panthers? Yeah. yeah. Again, I you'd be I unbearable. Can't, I can't agree with that. I'm definitely going for Broncos if it's them too. Your yeah. boss would be fucking unbearable. Oh, oh, my. I can't. I don't want to put up with it. It's too much <laughs> for my soul. Oh, oh my. This you walk around beaming and shit. It would annoy me. Yeah, it would. <laughs> so it's really worries Panthers, Broncos, still then. Correct. Now that I actually think about it. <laughs> okay, so Broncos Storm getting the grand final. What happens? Storm. Storm. <laughs> <laughs> You're serious? This is a joke. I'll tell you what, people. Yeah, no, it's, now it's Warriors Panther Storm, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, tonight, 6 p.m. Big Day. Shop. Rose, be there or be square. Buy a big day. Don't be a big day. Correct. Boom. Love it. Love it. There it is, done and dusted. As always, we'll go and fuck ourselves. Bye Thank bye. you. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.